The 11th of November 1942, after U-606 has finished her resupply, the BDO officer has assigned new orders. These orders are to continue attacks on the Arctic convoys, to stop the military shipping resupplying the troops in the USSR. Our orders are to travel to sector AB6 to AC7 in the Norwegian Sea and travel 2,000 kilometers inside this patrol zone. You may receive additional orders upon reaching the, the area. Anticipated number of vessels in the area is expected to be very large, so a minimum of 4,000 tons is expected to be sunk. Weather in the area is expected to be foggy, which may clear up later. Currently, we have sunk 93,734 merchant tons in the Arctic convoy regions, meaning we need less than 6,500 merchant tonnage to take us past phase two of the Arctic convoys campaign. To help us on this patrol, the BDU officer advises that U-606 has now been fitted with the latest technology, a snorkel, allowing us to travel underwater at higher speeds using the diesel engines, and also to pipe in fresh air when at periscope depth. Hi everyone, welcome back to the 27th of November 1942. Just coming up to quarter to 11 in the morning. Uh, we've had a radio message from another U-boat captain. Um, convoy in sight. Naval Square AF318. Course 73 degrees, 7 knots. Uh, message is followed by bearing signals. We can track the source as long as the transmission stays active. Um, that's good. We've been patrolling now for a few days. Completed the minimum 2,000 uh, kilometers within inside our patrol zone. Uh, haven't found anything. We've been diving down frequently listening to try and see any distant sounds in the hydrophone nothing nothing so this is music to my ears so let's um see if we can follow these bearings and try and lock on this convoy okay here we are up here and look at this is the signal from u um 997 so it's going 73 degrees so it's going up here so if we plot an intercept for about there and see if we can pick up this convoy Okay, periscope up. Um, we followed the convoy and they should be over here. Yes, they are. Uh, it looks like we're going to be right in amongst it. We've got a um, destroyer there, probably a corvette or a destroyer there. Can't quite see. But we've just got definitely a destroyer there. Um, the next row we've got merchants. Three merchant ships, well, it looks fit so far. Can't tell there. More merchant ships there. More merchant ships. Can't tell. And we've got definitely another destroyer out there. Right, okay, so they've got them front and back, um, which means uh, we're probably not in a great position because we're kind of probably in the line of these guys which might be the juiciest of the ships right in the middle um, but you know we've got a full load of torpedoes so we don't necessarily have to be perfect to begin with we can start picking off some of the smaller ships maybe to begin with dive down and then we re-engage later we can try and pick off some of the more juicy ships although obviously it always makes sense to try and hit the, the bigger ship that we can straight away but um, okay We'll see how this pans up and um, get the torpedoes being warmed up now. Okay, bit of time has passed. Um, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see. We've got ships sailing right past us. Um, we've got... No, where is it? There's the uh, the lead escort. She's gone straight past us, no problems at all. Then we've got a Empire-style ship here. Um, Norwegian flag. We've got out there, we've got another Norwegian flag, the Empire style ship. Corvette out there with the sun just coming up. We've got what looks to be a Liberty. 
SS Frank Lever there, and then over here. Oh, sorry, I didn't quite catch. Probably another Norwegian ships, maybe? It's a bit odd. Uh, more ships coming. Over there. Uh, coming directly for us. Well, not quite. Got another Empire ship there. Um, Norwegian ship there. Lots of Norwegian ships. Finally, a British ship. Um, and right behind us, one's gone past. There we go. There's a Corvette over there. Not, not obviously going to waste a torpedo on the Corvette. Um, but we've potentially got a rearward shot in uh, that one there. So let's get identifying then. Um, what is it? It looks like, uh, is it one of those? Oh, it looks like Empire Explorer. Let's get that recognized. Uh, speed we know is doing seven, not 78 knots, seven knots. Distance is approximately uh, 4,000 meters. Uh, it's tube five ready to go. Oh, we haven't got it all sorted yet. So that is coming at uh, that kind of angle. Uh, tube 5 can flood. Open. It's a T3 in tube 5. Okay, so it's actually 49 when we calculate it. 49. Uh, range is actually 3,000 and 7 knots. Track, nice. Rear tube. Ready to go. Okay, tube five, fire. Nose! And you can see why I wanted to get that away. We've got a ship coming right in here. Maybe we could have been better off going for that one, but uh, the time being, let's switch around. Target the Liberty in front of us, or actually let's target the one over here. Recognize that seven knots range. Three and a half. Okay. Um we got T one. Oh eins bewässern. Hopefully we won't hear an explosion anytime oh, soon. That will mean that torpedo behind will have hit the ship I didn't want it to hit. Tube one away. Right. Now, the juicy ship. The American Liberty. Recognize that. What's this? This is uh, length 135, depth 7.2. 7 knots, range pretty close. Eight hundred meters. I'll double check that on the hydrophone. Okay, it's all looking good. Uh, tubes. Magnetic. Let's put that down to eight meters. Fire. Los. And tube three. Add that back to uh, the surface. Fire. Tube three away. Feindliches Schiff wurde getroffen.
Right, good news. The Liberty ship has sunk, as has the Norwegian um, Empire uh, Tower in front. Uh, we missed the rearward shot, unfortunately, uh, due to the torpedo. Well, I think we didn't get the calculation right, obviously, and that's gone a bit astray, so she's okay. Um, we've got tube 4 ready to go. It's not uh, warmed up, but it can be fired. And we've got tube 5 currently uh, being reloaded so if we can get that reloaded we can maybe have a quick sneaky shot of this one yeah well, maybe she's going past the best but let's get her locked in for now anyway and just in case we can get that ready uh, we will uh, so there you go she's in the, uh, a bell okay it doesn't look like tube 5 is going to be ready anytime soon so let's concentrate on what's going on in front of us oh, maybe that's a little bit too high we've got uh, the corvette Make, make beating a hasty um, course for us. We've got that one coming in quite close behind, um, but we do have torpedoes, so let's let's target this one. There is a destroyer behind it, so if we do miss, there's a chance of uh, maybe hitting a destroyer, which would be hilarious. Hilar we'll laugh for days. I'm sure that's the case. Right, Empire Tower? No, it's not. Yes, it is. That'll do. Let's get the uh, speed calculated. They looked like they sped up from there. Um, oh, I missed the button. Sped up from there four knots, which we saw a moment ago. Tube five is just being loaded. A bit late, but let's lock. There we go. Five knots. Lovely. Okay, that's all on there. Tube four. That destroyer's over here now, so we're going to quickly send this away. Go. Is that destroyer coming? Now, is there one sitting behind us? Freshly, oh, that one's probably... Ah, we've already, we already locked onto this one? Possibly. Quick speed check. Because they're all doing about five knots now. Although it seems to have sped up a little bit. And then we'll get tube five away and then we'll dive. Seven knots, okay. Okay, all reading good on that. Tube five, flood. Come on, come on, come on. We need to start making some uh, moves now. Two five, go. Two five away. Right. Um, let's get moving. Take us down. Periscope down. Okay, those torpedoes squeaked by. I thought we were going to clip them, but no, apparently they did not go off. We just missed them. We are being constantly pinged, actively pinged, as you can see. So we are diving slowly. Why are we diving fast this, boys? Come on. Destroyers coming in on us. Um, we are turning, diving, oh, and we are trying to get under one of the uh, merchant ships so they can't do their depth charge runs. Now, if they've got Hedgehog... Uh, or, or if they've got side firing depth charges we could still be in very much a world of pain but um we're gonna keep going dive dive down 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 hopefully we can avoid them Okay, we're getting down now, 160 meters, 70 meters, diving to go under cover of one of the um, merchant ships. I think that's the sound of the merchant ship engine in front of us. But it sounds like there's a destroyer going right over us. Or is that the slow moving sound of the uh, merchant? Are we under it? With the destroyers in front of us. Can't quite tell.
Okay. De depth charges coming in. Thankfully, they've gone off on an angle and they haven't um, managed to really get us. Uh, we are shadowing a merchant ship. Uh, hopefully, that they will disguise us and the uh, sonar the destroyers are getting back. Well, A, at the moment, a signal has been destroyed by their own de depth charging, but hopefully, we can. Um, trail behind this merchant and hopefully hide in their shadow as it were um, yeah the, these destroyers definitely seem to uh, have a sense of urgency about them so we will give them the uh, respect that they are uh, due that is the merchant ship you can hear how close we are under it and over there in the distance you can hear the depth charges getting quieter and quieter which is well, reasonably pleasant, but we're still being pinged. Hi everyone, let me give you, uh, bring you up to speed on the hydrophone. You can see the corvettes here, the destroyers uh, dancing away here, trying to find them. This one's sort of given up and he's staying with the convoy. The rest of the convoy is moving on, but these um, three ships here are sort of spinning around trying to find us again. They've lost contact, which is great news. Uh, I'm sneaking off over here, as you can see. There's another destroyer down here, but he's not really engaged with us at the moment which is uh, he's turned towards us which is a bit worrying however there's a large ship down here now if you look at a destroyer there that is potentially a capital ship maybe a cruiser or maybe it's just a large destroyer but um, considering that is it probably a Corvette and you know you can see the difference between a Corvette and a destroyer that looks bigger yet so I might try and come around in here and we'll, we'll depending on what this guy does we'll um, come up to periscope depth and just take a look just to see what it is and if we can get a few torpedoes away and again dive for the ground okay we've been pinged I've come up to 40 meters um, this guy, the guy who was over here, is just shot up over here. I thought he was going to come straight for us, but he doesn't know where we are. Uh, interestingly, something else is going on down here. There is another U-boat coming in. Uh, so I'm going to let a little bit more time pass, and then we're going to come up to periscope depth and take a look at this ship. Right, we're at periscope depth. The music's got a little bit spicier, so um, that could be worrying. Right, where is he? There he is. It's a Dido light light cruiser. Recognise the three guns there. Basically, it's a glorified, um, it's a big destroyer. That's what it is. It's not heavy. There we go. Dido light class cruiser. Target that. Now there is a U-boat. Oh, is that the U-boat there? They're not being particularly subtle if that's them. The hell is that? Was that an escort ship over there? Maybe. Um, anyway, probably doing seven knots, but we'll get her calculated anyway. It's going terribly slow. It looks like an optical illusion. The front of the ship looks like it's coming towards me. The back of the ship looks like it's going away. It's really quite bizarre. It is. Inc it's. It's so slow. Two knots. Goodness me. Do you see what I mean? It looks like it's going off in that direction, but. It's actually coming. Oh, anyway, that's a real um, optical illusion. There you go. Two thousand meters. Oh, got to get the course in. Uh, the course will be in the red, and it's probably about uh, there. Actually, let's go there. So, yeah, about there. What do we got? Oh, we got pretty good torpedoes. Now, I say it's only a a beefed up destroyer basically so we could probably go with uh, a couple of torpedoes okay he's just gone past the point of best fire choose one and three um, oh god got fat i just go for it fire Close! Alright, let's get two and four flooded just in case these go off on some wild adventure and we have to fire a couple more torpedoes. 
Still being stalked by that ever U boat, by the way. Two good hits. Is that going to be enough? I hope so. Oh, look, that's a huge hole we just carved out under the number three gun. And she. Yes. Yes. Boom. She's gone. Another capital ship to add to our logbook. A Dido class light cruiser. What was she doing out here on her own behind the convoy? Maybe, um, who knows. But, um, that other. What? You see that? Was that a shell being fired? What? Yes, it was. Uh, I think our U boat mate who's coming into the party. We now know why that Dido class cruiser was delayed and behind the convoy. With these two uh, escort ships as well, they were engaging the other U boat who's obviously engaged this convoy earlier. This could be the contact keeper. These are now attacking the um, the other U-boat, so let's go down. Okay, sonar's being pinged. Look, they are definitely... Oh, they're definitely after that other U-boat, and he's fighting. Did he just hit one? I don't know. Um, and two more ships. Three oh, are coming back. Um, that looks like a merchant ship. We'll see if we can engage that, but he's definitely fighting. Unbelievably, he's just sunk two corvettes. He's my hero. Right, so let's um, beeline for him and see if he'll attack these two. Uh, maybe there's a merchant ship on her own down there. Maybe that's our target. Wow. The other skipper's certainly showing me how it's done. Okay, uh, we've been forced to pull away from the uh, the skirmish over there uh, because we were desperately low on good quality air. So we could have uh, run the stir the tanks to try and get some more oxygen, but um, now we've got the snorkel, we can just um, move away from the rest of them, come up to periscope depth, and uh, pop that up, and we get some fresh air in here. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Just going to let that um, clear out and get some fresh stuff in. And uh, we may go back and, and re-engage now. There's all sorts. That that convoy label there, that's just that one ship that we saw coming uh, the south of us. That's probably past. That's the other part of the uh, the convoy where we had the uh, probably about five merchant ships and still quite a hefty escort. Probably still about four escort ships with that one. So um, We're going to try and get away and um, sort ourselves out, get those torpedoes reloaded and find um, some more targets. Okay, a bit of time has passed. We've managed to surface, get ahead of the convoy and we are re-engaging. There's the convoy now. We've got one ship there, we have another one there, another one there, Empire style ships, Empire style ships, Empire style ships. What do you notice? The escort hasn't caught them up yet. The escort is still playing around with that other U boat. So uh, we can go in, torpedoes in, surface the boat, firing from the hip on the deck gun. Oh, yes, this could be a glorious, glorious day. Let me get some deck gun action for sure. Five juicy targets here. Uh, so let's start moving ourselves into a better position and setting up for this attack. Okay, flooded one, tube one, fire. Los! Oh, we only just got that. I'm guessing they were doing seven and a bit knots, not eight knots. Now, uh, will this one be able to avoid? Looks like it's slowing down already, doesn't it? 
by just imagining it. Okay, we've uh, surfaced the boat. Um, we didn't waste any more um, shells. Let's try and. Sorry, just torpedoes. Try and get this one finished off. Charging into the midst. Not going to go too far. We don't want to try and have an opportunity to ram us, of course. We can probably throw that right down there. Just want to encourage this to sink. Yeah, the other two torpedoes obviously missed because the ship had a chance to um, dodge thanks to the slight miss timing of the uh, shots. So yeah, we were unable to um, hit that second one. I thought we'll just keep the uh, torpedoes we have and we'll just surface and as we got the time, try and finish them off with the deck gun. I think that one's dead. That one's on fire. That's properly on fire, right? We got one, two, three, four over here. So this is the one that dodged. Shell into the bridge. That's closing on them. This one seems to be made of absorbent material. Just absorbing the shells and no um, fires being started. Ah, there we go, finally. This is the Empire Comet. Five and a half thousand tons by looks of it. Fire blazing. She's booking it as uh, trying to get out of dodge as quickly as possible. Keep those fires burning. Trying to get the uh, the rear of the ship, the stern where it's weakest. I would say she's dead. Yep. All right. Next, one dead ahead. Oh, we got one over here, and we got one sneaking behind us. I think. Yes. Just sneaking behind. We'll come back for her. Don't you worry. As long as those escorts stay away, we will continue to play. Although we don't have that many shells. Well, having said that, we've got some stored internally. So I can get those brought up as well. I think we've got 40. So do not fear, we've got plenty of shells for the moment. That was uncanny. Into the bridge. There we go, fires. Oh, that, that got things cooking. It's getting a bit choppy at the moment. Some shells into the hull. Good, that's the one behind us we've just been shooting at. A couple of uh, holes into the front of the hull there. Come on, keep keep that fire going. And keep these fires burning bright. There you go, big plume of black smoke, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I think she's in trouble now. Excellent. Right. We leave her to burn. She's gone. Uh, we've got this one over here. Good hit. Good hit into the bridge. And get a fire going. Oh, sailed over that one. Oh, she went down quick. Let's use up the rest of these armor piercing. Oh, narrowly missed the uh, funnel. There we go, beautiful. Oh, 
Right, that looks like a pretty bad fire. Help it along with some high explosive shells. I think she's a goner. Okay, put that fire out. She's just about hanging in there. You can see the damage is slowly increased. The uh, the flooding's taking place. She's uh, she's struggling. The fire's out, which is frustrating. Fire on deck. There we go. Got the fire back going. Good fire as well. Oh, they put it out again. Nope, fires are still blooming. Maybe below decks where it's more deadly. Yeah, I think she's gone there. She's gone as well. So, one more ship remains. Probably some distance away now. There she is. Let's head back and uh, close in on her. You can see the guy with the backpack ferrying. Uh, shells back and forth. There he goes. Full stop here. Let's try and finish her off and then we are golden. Right, cover that's probably disorientated the crew and stopped them being effective and let's try and get some holes down the hull, get the water in. Something fell off there. No, or as close to the waterline as I can. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, let's just start letting the uh, the water in. That may have made it. I'm not sure. Nice. Let's just pommel away until she succumbs. Okay, flames have erupted all around her now. It's hopefully is the end of this ship. The SS Orkla. Fires are burning. They're not quite catching, are they? I've pummeled so many shells into this ship. She seems to be quite resistant. Oh, blimey. Right, that is her probably gone there. Wait for the flooding to take hold. One more parting gift from us, and we just sit and watch on. She's sinking. Happy days. Right, stow the deck gun. Let's get underway. After dis demolishing this convoy, um, those escorts won't be too far away. Coming to bring some vengeance upon the uh, convoy attackers. So let's get out of here quick smart. And as we sail back into home port on the 2nd of December, Kurt Koch has received a new decoration, the German Cross in gold. Well done, Kurt. And boom. Just like that, campaign objective has progressed to the next phase. Arctic convoys. Phase 2 complete. 100,000 tons has been sunk. Congratulations, Skipper. Your mission to disrupt military shipping to the USSR. You, there's only two S's in that. Uh, was a resounding success. Your skill and bravery as a U-boat captain allowed you to sink several enemy vessels, allowing the flow of supplies, slowing the flow of supplies to the Soviet Union. Your efforts have no doubt helped pave the way for victory on the Eastern Front, if only. The involved military command commanders are grateful 
for your contributions and the U-boat command is proud of your achievements. There's, they need to put some spaces in there. <laughs> that's, that's like that's all one word by the looks of it. That's quite quite a thing. So campaign objective progressed. Arctic convoys. We've now got sunk 127,113 tons uh, of two and a half. Well, 250,000 tons required for phase three to complete the Arctic convoys. Wow. Okay, we're ha over halfway there, which is the exciting thing. So we started off with the SSA Frank Lever, which was sunk. Um, this was a US ship headed from Liverpool to Murmansk with the utilities and the cargo holds. 7,178 tons. Empire Pit was sunk. 4,563 tons transporting utilities Liverpool to Manx, registered in the UK. Empire Comet sunk. Uh, Intel tells us the ship was registered tonnage of 5,614 tons transporting medical supplies Liverpool to Manx, was registered in the UK. SS Droning moored was sunk. Um, Liverpool to Manx taking re raw resources of 4,188 tons from Norway. Uh, the MS Rigel, uh, 4,312 tonnes of raw resources from Liverpool to Murmansk, was registered in Norway. The JW Convoy, uh, our sources inform us that the convoy was headed from Murmansk, total of... Um, wait, is this a ship or is this... Was this a ship called the JW Convoy, was there? I didn't, I didn't notice. Um, registered tonnage was 7,524 tons. No, that's the actual, we actually cleared the convoy. Didn't we? Beautiful. So, mission summary. 8,000 monies received, 33 reputation boost. We sunk 33,379 tons of merchant tonnage. 21 days, 12 hours at sea, and we traveled 6,814.7 kilometers. We sank. Uh, the Liberty Freighter, which was the SS Frank Lever. We sank the uh, SS o Oma, I, I, Arma, I don't know, um, for 4,500. Uh, the Dido class cruiser. It didn't give a name, so we didn't get the name of that several, maybe cruiser. Empire Pit Freighter, Empire Comet, the SS Droning Maud, SS Rigel, SS Orca. Complete convoy was sunk. Beautiful. Beautiful. We reached our patrol zone, we did the 2,000 kilometers inside, and we sunk the minimum of 4,000 tons. Everyone's a winner, baby. Fantastic. So U-606 will be ready to go again next time. Coming up to December. No, sorry, we are in December. It's December the 2nd. Coming up to Christmas in 1942. The turn of the new year. Coming soon when we complete the next patrol, no doubt. So we'll make sure it's a good one. So we'll get reloaded and we'll be ready to go next time. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.